Hello children, welcome back to 9th standard science class. We were discussing about atoms and molecules. In that chapter, in the last class, we have seen how to find the molecular masses of the substances. And in the same manner, we can also use a term here, formula unit mass. How to find the formula unit mass? The same manner, in the same manner as you find the molecular mass or molar mass. Same, we use molar mass also for the term molecular mass. So, molecular mass or molar mass. So, how to find molar mass or molecular mass? In the same manner, you can also find formula unit mass. When do we use the term formula unit? See, when the constituent particles of a substance are ions, we use the term formula unit and its molecular mass is calculated as formula unit mass. The same like molecular mass we are calculating. Let us take an example and find out how to find the formula unit mass. Formula unit mass. In the same manner, As you calculate, as you calculate molecular mass, it is also called molar mass also. Formula unit mass is calculated. So, the same method is used to find the formula unit mass. Now, when do we use the term formula unit mass? So, this formula unit, the term formula unit is used for the substances whose constituent particles are ions, whose constituent particles are ions, means what as I said if a substance contains particles in the form of ions then we use the term formula unit. For example, let us consider sodium oxide. Look at this compound, sodium oxide or sodium chloride. Sodium chloride or potassium sulfate. These compounds are substances containing the particles in the form of ions. Now let us consider this substance sodium oxide and let us find formula unit mass for this compound. Remaining you try at home. Let me find one example I take and find formula unit mass. What is the formula of sodium oxide? It is Na2O. So this is the formula unit of Sodium oxide. So which is the formula unit of sodium oxide? Na2O. Na2O is the formula unit of sodium oxide. So it contains ions Na plus and O2 minus. So which are the ions here? The ions are Na plus and O2 minus. These are the ions in the compound. Now, how to find the formula unit mass? You know how to find molecular mass or molar mass. See here, how many atoms of sodium combine with how many atoms of oxygen to give one molecule of sodium oxide? You can note here, two atoms of sodium combines with one atom of 
oxygen to form one molecule of sodium oxide. Now let us find formula unit mass of sodium oxide. Unit mass of sodium oxide Na2O. See, now how to write two atoms of sodium here. You have learnt in your 8th standard that the atomic masses of some atoms, you know. Here atomic mass of sodium is 23. Atomic mass of sodium Na is 23 and oxygen is 16. That you have learnt in your previous class. You have to try to remember the atomic masses of some common elements so that you can easily find the molar mass or formula unit mass of the substances. Now, let us calculate two atoms of sodium combines with one atom of oxygen. So, 2 into atomic mass of sodium. Sodium plus 1 into atomic mass of 1 into atomic mass of oxygen means how much it is 2 into atomic mass of sodium is 23 2 into 23 plus 1 into atomic mass of oxygen is 16. 1 into 16. Then what is the formula unit mass of sodium oxide? It is 23 into 2, 46 and plus 16 into 1, 16. That is equal to 62 U. So what is the formula unit mass of sodium oxide? It is 62 U. I hope you have understood children the same manner as you calculate molar mass. So that some more examples are given in your textbook. Try to work out and learn how to find the molar mass of the substance. Uh, sorry, formula unit mass of the substances. Let us move on to another concept, mole concept. And what is Avogadro number? And let us work out some problems regarding this. Mole concept. I hope you know something about mole concept. What you have learnt in 8th standard. Let us consider a chemical equation. Look at this chemical equation of formation of water. You know which are the elements combined to form water molecule? Hydrogen and oxygen combined to form water molecule. Let me write the equation. Hydrogen H2 plus O2 gives H2O. Here the equation is not balanced. Let us balance 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. What does this chemical equation indicate? You can easily tell now two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen to give two molecules of water. Then what do you infer from this? This indicates that this chemical equation indicates that water first one Two molecules of hydrogen. Hydrogen combined with combined with how many molecules? One molecule of oxygen. Oxygen to form two molecules of water. What else you can understand from this chemical equation? By now you know to find molecular masses of the atoms or substances. Now look at here. This is hydrogen molecule. 
atomic mass of hydrogen you know it is 1 here 2 into 2 how many atoms of hydrogen 4 atoms of hydrogen so what is the atomic uh, molecular mass of hydrogen here 4 u of hydrogen combines with you know the molecular mass of oxygen sorry atomic mass of oxygen is 16 here O2 means what is the molecular mass of oxygen 2 into 16 it is 32 so that how much 32 U of oxygen molecule to form you have calculated the molecular mass of water in the previous class it is 18 U means how many molecules? 2 molecules. So, 18 into 2, 36 U. So, that now 4 U molecules of hydrogen combines with 32 U molecules of oxygen to give 36 U molecules of water. This also you can understand. So, the second thing what can you say here? How much of hydrogen you can also infer from this equation that 4U of hydrogen molecules combined with combined with how much of oxygen molecules 32U of Oxygen molecules, oxygen molecules to form how much? 36 U of water molecules. Isn't it? So, this chemical equation indicates this. But directly when you look at this chemical equation, what do you understand? The quantity is in the form of water molecules or atoms and in the form of atomic mass or molecular masses also if you know you can tell that. But directly when you see it is in the form of atoms and molecules. A chemical reaction equation directly indicates the combining elements in the form of their molecules and atoms. So, the quantity is convenient to denote here in the form of atoms and molecules. So, that there is a new concept or new term was introduced. Instead of telling it by mass, it is convenient to denote it in the form of atoms and molecules. So, a new term mole was introduced. Now, what is 1 mole equal to and what is Avogadro number? Let us try to understand. So, what to indicate the quantity of atoms which combine to form the products. Here, it is convenient to use atoms and molecules. So, a new term mole was introduced. So, mole in the sense, what is one mole? One mole of a species, of a species. This species in the sense, it may be in the form of particles, atoms or ions or molecules. Particles, atoms or ions or molecules. So that one mole of a species. What is this quantity? Is that quantity in number? It is that quantity in number having a mass equal to is that quantity in number having a mass equal to equal to its relative atomic mass or molecular mass or molecular mass in grams in 
grams. So, one mole of a substance, what is the mass of one mole of a substance? It is equal to gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass of that substance. So, what mass of one mole is equal to? It is equal to, what is it? Equal to gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass of that substance. Now, we use here the Avogadro number. One mole is equal to a particular number. Means it is a calculated value, experimentally calculated value. What is it called? You have learnt in 8th standard that Avogadro number or Avogadro constant it is. What is meant by Avogadro constant? It is nothing but the number of particles present in one mole of any substance. And once again, one mole of any substance in the sense maybe this number of particles may be in the form of ions, molecules or atoms. So that we call this Avogadro number. Avogadro number or it is also called Avogadro constant. What is it? Can you define the term now in the name of honor of the scientist Avogadro, Amido Avogadro. This is named, this experimentally calculated value means what do you mean by Avogadro number? It is nothing but the number of, number of particles, particles in the sense as I said earlier ions, molecules or atoms, number of particles present in one mole of any substance. It is fixed, experimentally calculated value equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. We call this number Avogadro number or Avogadro constant. Let us define now number of particles. Particles in the sense number of ions may be, atoms may be or molecules may be. Present in how much of the substance? Present in one mole of any substance. One mole of any substance. Is fixed. Fixed and it's a experimentally calculated value. Experimentally calculated value. What is it equal to? It is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number it is. So that what do we call this? It is called Avogadro number and denoted by a symbol N0, capital N0. It is nothing but Avogadro number. Now how? What is 1 mole equal to? 1 mole of any substance equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Maybe atoms or molecules or ions also. So if you take an example of hydrogen. If you take an example of hydrogen. You know that hydrogen. Atomic mass of hydrogen is one u. What is the atomic mass of hydrogen? What is the atomic mass of hydrogen? Is one u. So now one u means how many atoms of hydrogen? Only one atom of hydrogen. One u of hydrogen has hydrogen has only one atom of hydrogen. One atom of hydrogen. Then one gram. What is grams? 
atomic mass of hydrogen at gram atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 gram now 1 gram of hydrogen 1 gram of hydrogen has how many atoms of hydrogen it has one more atoms of hydrogen one mole atoms of hydrogen means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so now how to denote one mole equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms present in 1 gram of hydrogen so this is the number means here mass of hydrogen one mole of hydrogen present in 1 gram of hydrogen so that is equal to how much one mole means one mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 the same way you can take oxygen and you can find oxygen atomic mass is 16 u so 16 u of oxygen contains only one atom of oxygen means 16 gram of oxygen contains one mole atoms of oxygen in the sense 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so like this you can understand what is our gadro number means and what is its value let us work out some problems regarding this in the next class thank you